glory. Ooh. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah, good morning. Tony, good morning, everybody. Just want you to enjoy a little bit of this worship that God has been blessing me to be a part of this morning. Glory to God. So you can see and hear. Woo! Glory to God. Good morning, Miss Rose. We missed you. Glory to God. Good morning, Pastor Lorenzo. Apostle Irving, God bless you. We're on a little early. Glory to God. Just want to give you a taste of new life. Just been enjoying this. Good morning. <laughs> Glory to God. Just been worshiping and enjoying this this morning. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Try to adjust my camera. Hallelujah. You guys still see? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Come on, just worship with us a minute. Woo! Yes, God. Come on, worship the king, worship the king. He's holy and he's worthy. Good morning, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Glory to God, we're a little bit early. Because as I hear the Father, I just want to obey when he speaks. Amen. Glory to God. Good morning, everybody. We give God the glory and the honor and the praise. Uh-oh, camera's falling, camera's down. <laughs> glory to God. We're not gonna be very long, just as long as the Father would have us to speak. Amen, but as I was just driving, mm, 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 mm. glory to God, come on worship, come on love him, love him, love him. Take a moment to give God praise and worship and glory and honor. For our God is faithful, amen. He's faithful that promise. Glory to God. Good morning, Apostle Grant. Thank God for you. Amen. We give glory to, and honor to God. As I was driving, I was coming to a stop. Woo! Hey, my God, my God. And the famous sign, glory to God, no turn on red. Hallelujah. You know, many of us see those signs, and we see the signs in our life. We see the signs. Glory to God, the signs of the time. We we see different signs and different, you know, uh, again, signs that, that are designed to give us direction, to give us instructions. And many times, because we're familiar, because we're used to doing the same old thing, the same old way, we just run right past those signs. Because every corner doesn't have a do not turn on red sign. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Remember before they even had the do not turn on red side, you could just turn on red. You didn't, you didn't have to worry about, you know, stopping and all those kind of things. But then the law changed. Ha! Huh? Ooh, the law changed. Things changed. Time changed. And as a result, now you can't just do what you want to do when you want to do it. And that's what the word of God lets us know that after we've been born again, we can't do our own thing. We can't do it the way we want to do it, when we want to do it. We can't just turn on red because we're in a hurry or because we want to, you know, get to our destination. But we have to comply to the law of the land. So it is with the word of God. If we love God, the Bible said, Jesus said, if you love me, what? Keep my word. Keep my commandments. Do what I instruct you to do. Do what I tell you to do. Don't try to be your own God, be your own boss, do it your own way. But God wants us to engage in his word, be a participant in his word and his plan and his purpose. I'm going to have to take it off because it's not holding up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
And this book of the law shall not depart, but we're going to meditate on it day and night. Amen. Just got to get a little close up. Glory to God. And so when we hear the word of God, when we see the word of God, God is not just telling us the word of God just because he didn't, he, he didn't have anything else to do. But he's given us to, in, to uh, follow his instructions because it'll save our lives. Just like different road signs, you know, winding road. Come on, somebody. There are roads in our lives. There are destinations. There are uh, places that we're going to in our life. There, if we don't follow the instructions, if we don't follow the guidelines, if we don't follow God's word, we will make shipwreck. We will cause accidents. We will cause things to happen that was never the plan, the purpose, the intention of God. But we're in the hour and in the day when people don't want to submit to the word of God, submit to the will of God. Can you believe people are actually saying we don't have to follow the Old Testament because it's old? We don't have to follow that. That was under the law. We don't have to do that. We don't have to be a, a doer of the my God, my God. All of the word is old. None of us were here when the word, when the word of God was written or when the word of God was established. But Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. He said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Don't you get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. God knows what he's doing. He's the same God today, hallelujah, and forevermore. He still expects us to follow the instructions. Don't turn when he says don't turn. Don't turn on red. You know, the red is designed to, to, to cause us to stop, right? Just like when they saw the blood in the children of Israel. Glory to God. When the situation was going on, you know the story. Pharaoh made a decree that all the firstborn was going was to die. Moses went to the Lord and the Lord you know, gave him instructions. When I see the blood, I pass over. Glory to God. The blood, the death angel could not pass the bread could not pass the blood. Glory be to God. So it is today. Don't you know that the blood, can, I mean, that the death angel, the plan and purpose, the uh, tactics of the enemy cannot sustain the blood of Jesus, cannot overpower the blood of Jesus, cannot, glory to God, cause you to fail. The Bible says that no man can pluck you out of his hand. When you trusted in him, when you rested in him, when you obeying the word of God, God will come to your rescue. God will help you, even as he's already been helping you. But God is commanding and God is demanding, amen, that we follow the signs, that we follow his instructions. Glory to God. He said, this book of the law shall not depart out of our mouth. But what? We should meditate on it day and night for we can observe it so we can do it right in, in Joshua. Then you'll make your way prosperous. Then you'll have the good success. Then you'll have the favor and the blessings of the Lord manifested in your life. Amen. 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 As I was uh, looking at that sign and it said, no turn on red. Don't go past what God has given you to go. Be willing to slow down and stop. Be willing to wait on the Lord. Glory to God and let him strengthen your heart. Let God direct your steps. Amen. He said, my word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Oh, did he say just the New Testament is a lamp to your feet and a light? He said, my word is a lamp. Hey, my word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Glory to God. Jesus said, I'm going away, but I'm going to send the comforter. And he's going to what? He's going to lead you and guide you into all truth, all the instructions, all the directions, all that God intended for us to know. He's given us what he wants us to know in the person of the word of God, in the person of the Holy Spirit. Yes, the person of the word of God. The Bible says that Jesus Christ became flesh and he dwelt among us. Glory be to God. So God just wants you to be encouraged today. The word of God lets us know in uh, first Corinthians, second Corinthians 13, he said to examine yourself to see. Woo. Remember yesterday, glory to God, we talked about seeing, amen. The eyes of your understanding open that you might know the hope of your calling. E examine yourself, right? To see whether you be in the faith. Hey, glory to God. Hey, Xavier. Xavier. Examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. Are we doing what God has instructed us to do? Are we following the path of righteousness? Are we following the instructions that God has given us? Or are we just passing the red light? Are we just turning in any old kind of way, doing any, driving any kind of way we want to drive, doing whatever we want to do, whenever we want to do it? Why? Because you're big enough. Glory be to God. Well, guess what? Every knee's going to bow and every tongue's going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's still Lord. He's still in control. He's still, hey, he's still God. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He said, obey my word, obey my instructions. Amen. Just like we obey the law of the land, 
Glory be to God. Why? Because you don't want to get a ticket. Isn't that crazy? People will obey the law of the land because you don't want to get a ticket. You don't want to get fined. You don't want to get stopped. But when it comes down to the law of God, we try to legalize the law of God. Well, that's too legalistic. I don't have to follow that. The devil is still a liar all day long. This book of the law should not depart out of our mouth, but we're going to meditate on it day and night. Why? So we can observe it to do it. So we can do the word of God. So we can follow God's instructions. We can follow God's directions. We can follow God's path. And then we'll have what God says we can have. He said, my word is in you, my God. He said, the word is in you. It's in your mouth. It's in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preached. Amen. The word of faith that God has given us is spirit and is still life. Just like the heaven, the water comes down from heaven and returns not in Chicago land. We're experiencing this snow. He says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It's not going to return empty. It's not going to return void. It's not going to return glory to God incomplete, but his word will accomplish what he pleased and prosper every place. He sends it. Why? Because he'll watch over his word to perform it. Glory be to God. God will cause the word that he's spoken in your life to be manifested when you follow his instructions, when you follow his directions, when you comply to the will of God, to the word of God, to the plan and to the purposes of God, you can expect the manifestation. Hey, God said, expect the manifestation. God said, expect, expect your healing to come, expect deliverance to come, expect salvation to come to your loved ones, expect God to move in your behalf, expect God to move in even in your mind. Some of you are dealing with challenges in your mind. The word of God says that we cast down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the know or knowledge of God. And we bring every single one of those thoughts into captivity pull it down. God has given you power over all the powers of the enemy. But again, we have to comply to the word of God. We got to be willing to comply to the will of God. We got to be willing to give ourselves wholly and completely to God's word, to God's instructions, to God's directions. Glory be to God. And then remember, we talked about the wisdom. He said, if you don't have the wisdom in James, if you any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. God will give you the direction. God will give you the wisdom. God will give you the know how. God will show you how by the leading and guiding of the Holy Spirit. And applying the word of God, he'll show you how to function in the area that he's ordained and called you to function in. Don't pass that red light. Glory to God. Be willing to stop. Hallelujah. Be willing to not turn on red. If God tells you to stop, stop. Be willing, glory to God, to be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Why? Because the Bible said you're only tricking yourself. You're only deceiving yourself. And, you know, we say all the time, if we can't fool God, then what's the point? If you can't hide from God, what's the point of hiding? If you can't, you know, trick God, what's the point of playing games? What's the point of it? Glory to God. Why? Because we got to give an account to God. We will have to answer to God for the things that we do and the things that we don't do. For our rebellion and disobedience, those things are going to be, have to. we're going to have to answer to God for those things. But guess what? The red blood of Jesus came to cleanse our conscience from every dead work. It's not the will of God that any man perish, but that every one of us come to a place of repentance, a place of restoration, a place of rebuilding, a place of revival, a place of restoration. Glory be to God. God wants you to make it. Listen, tell somebody God wants you to make it. God wants you to be the head. God said you the head and not the tail. He never planned defeat for your life. But if we don't comply to the will of God, to the way of God, to the word, to the plan and purpose of the instructions of God, we will not be able to walk in victory. Joshua said, I'm going to I'm going to meditate on this word day and night so I can observe it to do it. We learn the rules of the road so we can observe it to do it. How much greater should we follow the instructions of our God? Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Our God is higher than any other. Amen. To the only wise God, it says in Ephesians, to the only wise God, our Savior, to him be glory and majesty, dominion and power now and forevermore. Just want to admonish you this morning. Just want to encourage you that God got your back. God got you. He just wants you to comply to the word of God. Follow his instructions. God bless you, Apostle Grant. Follow his directions. Follow his instructions. And I hear the Lord saying that because he's getting ready to bring you to a wealthy place. That wealthy place is not necessarily just money, finances, but being whole and complete in him. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible said he's given us an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Amen. He's called you out to bring you up, to bring you in.